focus on the squats, we'll focus on the leg press, you know, things like that. How does that sound for you? Okay, cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah, so on the uh, push days, we'll also get the front of the shoulder, and on the pull days, we'll, we'll focus more on the back of the shoulder. Uh, the push-pull legs tends to hit most areas, and obviously, if you want to, like, focus more on other stuff, we can always adapt the plan as we go. Um, you know, it's not fixed or anything. And obviously, you know, over time, your, uh, your, uh, your goals might change and everything. So we can, um, we can adapt to that as well. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to suggest a lot of, probably a lot of, um, high weight, uh, low volume reps and sets. Uh, just because I don't think, you know, because, you know, you have the same body type as me, we don't really need to, like, get too lean or whatever, because, like, if you're not working out, what tends to happen? Yeah, me too, yeah, I just get skinny, like, I get really skinny and stuff, so, um, you know, when you're looking to build mass, it's definitely, uh, you definitely want to be doing those, um, be working with high weights. So yeah, I know I know a few people who run uh, run classes that focus on um, you know uh, building muscle and building size as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna write up your whole fitness plan and everything. So we, we decide on push pull legs, and we're gonna try and build some size, but also you know like try and keep the core in check, bro, we're probably gonna inevitably have to do some cardio, you know, you can't just get away with doing none of it, um, but, you know, keep it, keep it at a, just a low, healthy level, you know. Okay, sounds good, yeah. Um, and then have you ever been on any sort of diet plan, or, no, not really, okay. So what do you typically eat, then? Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. Um, when we're looking to gain muscle, we're essentially trying to get our body in a, you know, we're trying to essentially have a lot of protein, have a lot of carbs, um, because our body, when we work out, is obviously burning calories and burning a lot of the energy that we're getting from food. Um, and when you're trying to lose weight, obviously you don't want to eat too much, so that way your body is in a calorie deficit. But we want to do the opposite, we want to be intaking more calories than we're burning, obviously. Um, so, you know, I would say uh, for protein-centered foods, and protein is going to be essential for muscle growth, and so that you're not sore the next morning, um, I would definitely suggest, firstly, um, going out and buying, uh, you know, sort of protein powder kind of stuff. I have a few recommendations that I'll send over to you. Um, and then in terms of a diet, um, I would suggest quite a few eggs. Um, if you don't have any cholesterol problems or anything like that, um, a chicken is definitely a really good source of protein. Um, peanut butter, pretty good as well. Um, what else do we have that's pretty good with protein? Uh, any sort of like peanuts or any sort of nuts have quite a bit of quite a bit of protein in them. Um, and then uh, meat in general tends to have quite a bit. Um, chicken, obviously the most. Um, and chicken's also like not too fatty as well compared to like a steak. Um, so that's probably a bit better for you. That's, okay, cool, so you like all that stuff, that's good. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I have eggs every morning, so... Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're really good, and they're simple as well, that's the best part about them. Okay, cool, yeah, you eat, yeah, yogurt's really good as well. Um, I see stuff with milk in it has, it has quite a bit of fat, but yogurt's actually pretty good, especially if you're not... Uh, if you're not adding too much sugar to it, um, yeah, yeah, exactly, 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 um, yeah, yeah, beans as well have quite a bit. Um, especially black beans, 
this so you don't have to write all this down um, you know and stuff like that so you want to focus on those protein on those high protein foods um, and obviously you want to be eating quite a bit um, which is probably funny because I feel like you know there's there's a huge there's a lot of information surrounding diets about people wanting to lose weight but I feel like the people like us that want to gain weight it's a bit <coughs> It's a bit different. It's a bit more difficult because there's less information about it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll send you the information about the high protein foods. Um, but uh, I would definitely recommend getting at least three meals a day in. Um, you know, I'm not even that big of a fan of breakfast, so I tend to have like meals that like I eat at 11 a.m which I guess counts as breakfast, but I don't really eat it when I wake up, and then I eat at 2 p.m., and then I'll have a big dinner, um, and then I then have a snack around like 5 or 6 p.m., um, but it's kind of all up to you. It, you can't really change how hungry you get throughout the day a lot of the time, um, but yeah, uh, definitely try and um, avoid you know, things that are traditionally unhealthy, like, like candy and, and stuff like that, and sweets and chocolate, and, um, alcohol's pretty bad as well. I don't know if you drink a lot, but that's, uh, it's not the best for, uh, gaining weight, or at least gaining muscle. I mean, you could just go out and drink a ton of beer and get a beer belly, but that wouldn't be ideal, would it? Um, so that's kind of what I would suggest diet-wise. Um... Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's a, obviously we'll see as we go, like, um, salmon is also pretty good as well. Uh, yeah, it, this is all gonna, like, we're all gonna see where you go kind of with this. I mean, if, if you feel like you're not, um, getting enough food throughout the day, then by all means, I would, I would eat as much as you want. Um, but on some days where you feel like you're not eating enough, or you don't really feel that hungry, um, a lot of the times it's good just to go out and maybe like go for a little run or like do a little home workout if you don't really feel like coming to the gym and that, um, that, that will make you hungry. <laughs> So I'll put you down for an hour session. It'll mainly be a walk. 
walkthrough of kind of the gym, the machines, maybe. I'm sure you know like what a lot of them do already. Um, but just any that you don't know, and then we'll probably walk through. Um, we'll start with a push day, so that'll be a uh, chest and triceps, and I'll kind of like walk you through um, some good exercises. Maybe just touch up on your form a little bit because like everyone's form can get a bit better, you know. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't want to be injuring yourself or anything. Like it can be dangerous, you know, if you're not working out with the right form and everything. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and then, uh, I suppose we could kind of just run, I, I'll give you your, um, your workout plan there, and we can kind of, um, you know, just kind of go from there, and then after the first month, you can tell me kind of, like, how it's been going, and, uh, maybe, like, what you feel like went well, what didn't go as good, uh, as good as you thought it would, or as good as you wanted it to. Um, and then we can kind of like tweak the plan, maybe tweak the diet and things like that as we go. Um, and yeah, how's that sound, man? Is that good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have any other questions or anything? Yeah, okay, so the gym opens at, uh, 6 a.m. And it closes at 10.30. Yeah. Yeah, so the, I'd say the least amount of people are probably here around like, I don't know, probably around like 6 or 7 a.m. Um, or if you come like super late, like 9 p.m., There's, I'd say those are probably the two least crowded times. Um, and then um, I, I'd say there's not too many people at like 10 a.m. or so because most people are at work um, or just wherever. But yeah, yeah, exactly. I will, um, I will send all these details to you. Uh, I think you gave me your email already, yeah. Yeah, and I have your number, your phone number as well. Um, yeah, sounds good. Um, so just on your way out, uh, remember to talk to the lady at the front desk and just ask her for your, uh, key card to get into the gym. Um, and I'll let you know who to speak to about, uh, swimming stuff. Okay, cool. Sounds good, man. Nice to meet you, 